A new chapter unfolds as Taylor Swift announces her latest album, The Tortured Poets Department. Okay, this is my 13th Grammy. members of the Recording Academy for voting this way, um, but I know that the way that the Recording Academy voted is a direct reflection of the passion of fans. So I want to say thank you to the fans by telling you a secret that I've been keeping from you for the last two years, which is that my brand new album, This much-anticipated release is set to hit the airwaves on April 19, 2024, promising a fresh wave of Swift's signature storytelling. Along with the announcement, Swift has unveiled the cover art for the album, a visual treat that perfectly complements the album's intriguing title. But that's not all. She's also revealed the tracklist, a tantalizing glimpse into what we can expect from the Tortured Poets Department. One track that stands out is LAMAL, an acronym for Love of My Life. Interestingly enough, the buzz around town is that this album might be inspired by Swift's past relationship. A six-year romance with actor Joe Alwyn has led many to speculate that the tortured poet's department may have been born out of this love story. As Swift's current boyfriend Travis Kelsey puts it, this album promises to be unbelievable. Diving deeper into the tortured poet's department, each track seems to tell a story of its own. Taylor Swift, known for her masterful storytelling, has outdone herself with this album, creating a lyrical landscape that is both poignant and invigorating. Starting with the opening track, Golden Hour, Swift sets the tone for the album. It's a song filled with nostalgia and longing, possibly reflecting on past relationships and experiences that have shaped her. The melancholic melody intertwines with Swift's emotive voice, creating a heart-rending beginning to this musical journey. Moving on to Paper Hearts, we are met with a more upbeat tempo, a stark contrast to the previous track. This song, brimming with optimism and youthful romance, could be a representation of Swift's current state of love with her beau, Travis Kelsey. The lyrics, love notes written on paper hearts, suggest the sweet simplicity of love in its purest form. Next, we have Broken Strings. This track delves into the harsh realities of love and heartbreak, a theme recurrent in Swift's music. The metaphor of broken strings could symbolize the end of a relationship where the connection has been severed and all that's left are the remnants of once shared love and dreams. The fourth track, Lamal, standing for Love of My Life, has sparked quite the speculation. Could it be a tribute to her longtime partner, Joe Alwyn, whom Swift had a six-year relationship with? Or possibly a love letter to her current love, Travis Kelsey? Regardless, this ballad stands as an anthem for all the hopeless romantics out there, reaffirming the belief in enduring love. Following this, Invisible Strings takes us on a journey of self-discovery and acceptance. Swift's lyrics, Invisible Strings Tying You to Me, could be a reflection on the unseen connections that bind us to our past, our experiences, and the people we've loved. Wildflower is a track that exudes freedom and resilience. It's a testament to Swift's growth as an artist and as a woman, symbolizing her strength and ability to bloom even in the most challenging circumstances. The final track, The Tortured Poets Department, shares its name with the album itself. This song, perhaps the most introspective of all, might be seen as Swift's commentary on her life and career in the public eye, the struggles she's faced, and the triumphs she's celebrated. Swift's storytelling prowess is evident in each track, painting a vivid picture of love, loss, and everything in between. Each song in The Tortured Poets Department serves as a chapter in Swift's narrative, inviting us to delve deeper into her world of lyrical poetry and emotional exploration. As the curtain falls on our journey through The Tortured Poets Department, some key points stand out. We've taken a deep dive into the world of Taylor Swift's latest musical endeavor, and it's clear that this album promises a lot. 
At the heart of the Tortured Poets Department is a unique track list that has already sparked intrigue and speculation. Each song, including the much-discussed Lummel, is a testament to Swift's lyrical prowess and her ability to weave stories through her music. The tracklist is a tapestry of emotion, each song a thread contributing to a larger narrative, promising to take listeners on a roller coaster ride of feelings. The album's speculated inspirations add another layer of depth to this musical tapestry. Rumors abound that the tortured poets department draws heavily from Swift's personal life, specifically her six-year relationship with actor Joe Alwyn. This adds a level of authenticity and rawness to the music, making it even more relatable and impactful. With the release date set for April 19, 2024, the anticipation is palpable. Swift's fans, famously known as Swifties, are eagerly waiting to experience what promises to be a lyrical masterpiece. The excitement surrounding the album is not just limited to fans. Even Travis Kelsey, Swift's boyfriend, has expressed his awe of the album, calling it unbelievable. But the excitement isn't just about the music, it's also about the journey that Swift is inviting us to embark on with her. Every album is a new chapter in her story, a glimpse into her world, and the Tortured Poets Department is no different. With the Tortured Poets Department, Taylor Swift is set to once again captivate the world with her musical enchantment. Mark your calendars for April 19th, 2024, and prepare for a lyrical journey like no other. Which is that my brand new album comes out April 19th. Let's go. Let's go. Right now, backstage. Thank you, I love you.